All right, and we're back. Now, the unfortunate uh, side effect of encountering encountering that OO parts enemy is that he left Levitz almost dead. So we have to waste two healing potions on him. Which is fine. We probably needed the space anyway. And maybe... There was that chest we missed when we first came to Helena Prison. Maybe we can finally find it. There don't seem to be any guards out here anymore. But Levitz, being the heroic bro he is, gets in there and lowers the bridge for us. This may have been a trap, but it's one that we will willingly walk into. Hey, hey, you saw me come in. Let's go. have been upgraded, and we get multiple variants now. It's interesting that Rose took more damage from that magic item than anyone else. Like, I don't understand the magic system at all. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Witness me. I don't necessarily want to go grinding for enemies, but I do have a rule. In games where enemies can be seen on screen, I'll kill every enemy on screen once. So if I come back through here and these guys have respawned, I will try to avoid them. Yes. 
So it seems like Rose's new weapon has a secondary effect of inflicting fear. Which is gonna be real nice if bosses were ever affected by status ailments. It's one of the things in RPGs that is kind of annoying is that you get all these useful status ailments, but it turns out bosses are usually immune to all of them. What are your wares like? Midnight Terror. Okay. No, not that way. So I am looking for a way to get up onto this bridge here, across to the other room, then go across the other bridge and get a treasure chest. Maybe. I don't think this leads me anywhere. Oh, that elevator actually works now. Last time it was broken. Maybe this is where we were supposed to go. All right, that was it. We got the chest. Now we just need to know what it is. A felt hat. Literally the worst. Literally the worst. I hope this doesn't turn out to be the right way to go. We got two chests, a therapy ring. Probably makes you immune to fear. Oh, it recovers health every turn. That's okay. But now I'm stuck in a chest. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, this was the incorrect way to go, which is the right way to go because it leads us to treasure. this take me? Down. Where does the other one take me? Cross your fingers. No. Where does this take me? It goes the wrong way. Pandemonium. When did I get a rapier? Minor enemies only attack one ally. Is that a taunt? I 
All right, I'm going to make an assumption here. I think that this elevator... Oh, there's a ladder. I think that elevator leads to that treasure chest on the wall there. Maybe. Why are all these things just the worst? Could I have come up here at the start of the game? Surely not. Is it really upstairs if there are no stairs? Alright, this was the right way to go, so we've made a horrible mistake. there. Like this. A silver embroidered vest. That has to be a good thing to someone. Okay. We at least got one upgrade out of this. Treasure. Healing potion. That's good. That's good. Ooh, standing on a grate. That's never a good idea. the Star Wars crossover. We're gonna fight the Rancor. What is a sachet? Gives a subtle good aroma. What the fuck? Oh god, it is a Rancor.
as usual, Astral Drain. Hopefully this thing is weak to darkness or has low magic resistance. Two hundred and sixteen. That's good. That's good. Mm, confusion. Yeah. I like how the question mark is the universal symbol of confusion. I'm actually glad that this thing is doing party-wide attacks like that, because it means Astral Drain is going to be effective healing. What do you got for magic? I don't have any more mind purifiers. So Darks is just going to have to live with confusion, which is unfortunate because he's got level 2 dragon meter. Thankfully, Darts is only trying to run away, which this is a boss fight, so he can't. It'd be much worse if he tried to attack Levita Rose. Physical damage will break him out of his confusion. It does not. And he attacked himself. This has been a lesson. Keep a healthy supply of purifiers on you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Only 58. Rose is two turns away from turning Dragoon again, and this boss is almost dead. I don't really want to use items. It's almost dead. I especially don't want to use a healing breeze. has to be close to dead. Oh, darts. Darts, I believe. You can do it. Uh, Levites, I believe you can do it. Still not enough. This red arrow is such a bait. Wow. Rose, you gotta do it. Okay. Levites gain a Dragoon level. That'll be good. And we gain Blossom Storm. I believe that might be his most powerful addition. So defeating that monster uh, caused the rock wall to collapse. In my head cannon, uh, the monster in its death throes fell back, collided with the wall, and caused the rocks to fall over. we end up seeing that merchant again or find a healing spring. I don't like the fact that I'm having to use items. very gladly, very gladly, do a turn of Astral Drain. And honestly, if I were smart, which I'm not, 
I would just... I would kill one of these guys and then guard with everyone until they're full health and then kill the other. I thought about doing that. I thought about it. I'll do one more Astral Drain, then I'll use an item to restore Rose's mana. MP. I don't really want to recover Levitz's mana MP. His magic really isn't that good. Huh. I guess Blossom Storm was not an addition. I, I seem to remember hearing Blossom Storm Endlessly, as a kid. I thought that was an addition. Rose still only has the one addition, Whip Smack. Even after all this time. It's two away from Mastery, though, which is good. She's long overdue to master that. And Levitz is pretty far away here. Hopefully, when Rose masters... Whip smack, it'll trigger le her learning a new one. Otherwise, I'm going to replace her. That should be mastery for her. All right, a spear weapon. First of all, let's see what that spear is about. It is nothing good at all. Secondly, let's take a look at, look at additions. Rose did not learn anything. So we are going to replace Rose with Hashel. We'll start using Hashel's additions. Until, until Rose actually learns something new...
Now, Hashul isn't a Dragoon. So, and he doesn't have Astral Drain. If we end up fighting a boss with Hashul, we might be in a pretty worse off position. Without Rose, it's going to take a little bit longer to kill everyone here. It takes all three characters to defeat one basic guy. Follow this guy. <laughs> Certainly are a lot of forced encounters in this dungeon. I'm not sure if there are any random encounters. His name was a foul fighter. I would be personally happy if that enemy inflicted status ailments on me, like blind, as a play on foul. It's a foul fighter as in it's it's a avian, but also a foul fighter as in it inflicts status ailments. I would personally love it if that were the case. I just realized that there's probably a bunch of stardust in this dungeon, just in random places. I hope not.
Save points always mean that we're not going to have any boss at all. Yes! Yes, give me a weapon upgrade for darts. Get hype. What? Are you kidding me? It's not even an upgrade. I'm so disappointed. Why? There's nothing left to do but take out our frustrations on whoever gets in our way. Fuck King Albert. Whoever made those chests, whoever stocked those chests, has to be this guy. He has to die. We're gonna have to rely on healing items more this time. I wish we had met the merchant again. Rodriguez and Guftas. literal rock. We're already feeling the damage. Ah. Uh, if Levites would get a little bit more injured, I would use that healing breeze. I regret not restoring Levitz's mana, MP. Especially after he's uh, Dragoon level raised. That is so much damage. That's really, really unfortunate. I should have gone all the way back to the merchant and restocked on everything. 
This fight is going to be much harder than it should be. I really want to kill this dog. I do not want this dog to confuse anyone else. Rodriguez, attack! And this Rodriguez is just actually dealing damage to me. I think we made the right choice in targeting the dog first, but even still, this is a lot. I want to attack everybody I can here. Hopefully the dog dies. Explosion. Good. I think I'm ready to use this healing breeze. I don't know what Hashel is going to do if he's going to attack himself like that. Yeah. Well, that's not good for anyone. Uh, Hashel just lost almost all of the health that he gained. Good. Okay. The dog is not here to confuse anyone else, so we should be okay for the rest of the fight. We are very low on healing items, though. We're going to have to use another one on Hashel next, his next turn. 180 damage. That is a lot. How many healing items do I have? Okay, I've got three healing potions. That's fine. Hashel will be our healer, I think. Okay, we don't have to worry about the bird anymore. Burning rush. 
It's not a whole lot of damage, though. With the boss powered up as he is, he's just not taking any damage. He's still at blue health. Yes. And I... Uh, I really did not need to miss that addition. Devil punch. our last healing item. So it's just a straight damage rush from here on out. He's at yellow health. Below half. Glad I healed Levitz. Next turn, we'll Dragoon with darts. Maybe do another fireball. Beats his next turn, we can Dragoon with him. Twenty-eight, not bad. It's significantly more than its physical attacks would do. Interesting. Okay, it's because we finished the fight. Okay. No. Not the black screen. So Lloyd showed up and did something to the king. There was a moon gem implanted in his body. Levite's doing what any knight would when his king is in danger. but it costs him dearly. And I already called him Lloyd, so I sort of spoiled that, but here's the big reveal. The, the honorable knight, the honorable fighter we met at the arena, is working for the emperor, and he murdered our friend.
and the Jade Dragon Gem. Transfers to King Albert. Look at that. The, the game doesn't give any experience to Levitz because he's dead. That is both a nice touch and a tragic touch that the game would actually go that far. We take Levitz, not Levitz, but the king with us back to cells. It's the farthest away we can safely go from the Empire. The capital of the kingdom, Bale, has been occupied. So right now we just have to hide until we regroup. Albert is saying that, to him, Levitz wasn't just a loyal knight, he was his closest friend. And Rose is revealing that Lloyd carries the Dragon Buster sword. It's an ancient sword made to kill dragons and defeat the Dragoons.
So, 11,000 years ago, when the Winglies were destroyed, not destroyed, but scattered, the item that they used to channel their magic power was destroyed and scattered. One of them was the Moonstone, which was in Albert's keeping. And that's what Lloyd was after. And remember back when we explored the castle in Bale, we saw that robe figure in the king's chamber. And it turns out Albert had hired him as an intelligence advisor, but he was a double agent the entire time. This newfound power entrusted to him by Levites, Albert is going to fight the Empire and save his kingdom. Narratively, Levites taught Albert how to use a lance and how to fight. Mechanically, Albert has the same stats and Dragoon level and addition level as Levites. So, we didn't really... We lost a good friend, but... Not really. Only narratively. Mechanically, nothing has changed. Actually, that's not true, because mechanically something has changed. Albert's additions are faster than Levite's. They have their own tempo to them. If you grind up Levite's to his final edition, which I also think is named Blossom Storm, Levite's is... his edition is slower, much slower than Albert's. Blossom Storm is incredibly difficult to perform on Albert but it's actually pretty easy to perform on the beats. So now we get a scene with Emperor and Lloyd. They're still talking about Shauna, how they still need her, but they're leaving her at large for now. And... It also is revealed that Lloyd isn't entirely loyal to the king, or to the emperor. He has his own plans to deal, and it just so happens that their plans line up together for the moment. So again, I, I would like to have the ability to run through this area. But the fact that it's kind of on fire a little bit, or smoking, leads me to believe that there's something new here. Or maybe the enemies have been upgraded. It looked like that chest was restocked, but... I just can't see the lid. No, no, the enemies are the same as always. Alright, let's check out Albert's edition.
graphically, it looks a lot more flashy. But I don't think that one in particular was much different than Levitz's. Now, if you want to grind up additions, this forest is actually pretty good. None of the enemies will do very much damage to you, and you can just... You won't actually gain very much experience here either. So you're not really power leveling. The downside is you'd really only be able to hit two additions per battle. So. If you want to grind additions here, it would take a long while. This takes me north, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not where I want to be. Please, let me enter in the same screen I left. Be kind. Rewind. Okay. I'm not doing Dragoon transformations yet. I'm trying to save a little time. the Black Castle, which we will tackle next time. For now, that'll be it. We got a lot to do next time. We gotta infiltrate the castle, defeat the Emperor, win the war, save the world. Who knows? Until then, I'll see you guys.